Nonstick cooking technology may have been around for almost 3,000 years. Now it's said that the Mycenaean Greeks used ceramic riddles that featured one coarse side and one very smooth side to bake their bread. Well, we've come a long way, and Adam's here to tell us about a more recent advent, the nonstick skillet. I want to know how long the smooth side of the Mycenaean griddles lasted, <laughs> because we think that nonstick coatings are not worth a big investment because they are really susceptible to both wear and damage. Sure. So for these seven skillets here, we set a price cap of $60. That was the top, $32 was the bottom. We got the largest pan that we could from each manufacturer. We prefer 12-inch pans, mm -hmm. which you know. However, two key manufacturers just make 11-inch pans, so these were a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, the testing was extensive. To evaluate their nonstick coatings, testers used each pan to cook eggs over easy with no fat, one after the other, at both the beginning and the end of testing, stopping only when the eggs began to stick. Between the egg tests, the testers used the pans to cook fish and frittatas. They also used each skillet to toast a thin layer of flour just to see how evenly they heated. There were also abuse tests. I'm sure. Testers intentionally broke every rule of good nonstick care. They sliced frittatas right in the skillet with a metal knife and removed the wedges with metal spatulas. They stacked the skillets without protection for the finish. They repeatedly shocked them in cold water. They washed them in the dishwasher and with abrasive sponges. They also took them outside and banged them against a sharp concrete ledge to simulate years of bad treatment in the kitchen. Now, in general, nonstick coatings are not made by the cookware manufacturers themselves. They're made by large chemical companies, and the manufacturers will buy them from the chemical companies. They offer basic coatings up to premium coatings, and the cookware manufacturers will choose what version they want based on the price point of the cookware it's going on. Now, also in general, these things are applied in layers, usually two to five. So in terms of the cooking tests, that showed testers that the size, the shape and the weight were really important. The two small pans here bombed because they didn't have enough cooking surface area sure. across the bottom. Fish fillets sort of rode up on the sides. If there was too much stuff sauteing in there, it would all fall together and steam, steam. not really brown correctly. Okay. That was a problem. Testers also didn't like skillets that weighed too much. They found them a little harder to maneuver. I want you to pick up that guy right this there. One. This is empty and it's really hard to maneuver. <laughs> Very heavy. The good news is you don't have to go to the gym later. I was going to say, I'm going to work on my delts there. <laughs> that one's more than three pounds. Some of them were significantly lighter. Try this one. Very light. You could flip things in it very it's easily. It's almost like a feather, isn't it? <laughs> um, they also like the shape of pans like this because the sides are flared. They're nice and open, promotes evaporation, easy to get in sure. there with utensils and move food around. They also like the handle on this guy because it was soft, it was grippy, and it stayed cool, which was not true of all of these handles. In the end, testers only wanted to recommend two pans, but they really preferred this guy right here. This had three layers of nonstick coating. It released 50 eggs Jeez. beautifully after weeks of testing. <laughs> one of these pans wouldn't even release one egg. Wow. It cooked the food beautifully. It released beautifully. This one is the OXO Good Grips nonstick 12-inch open fry pan. It's $39.99. It's got a nice wide cooking surface, flared sides, excellent handle, lightweight so it's maneuverable, and it's our new winner, the only one that got the highly recommended rating. Well, it's a clear winner. It's the OXO Good Grips Grips nonstick 12 inch open fry pan for $39.99. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So, what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now, you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>